Hey there everyone, good morning slash afternoon slash whatever time of day that it might be for you. Uh, way early this morning, like as of recording five hours ago, like 4 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, the Choose Your Legends Midway update dropped. Um, typically I think they wait until after four days, or at least they have in the past. Um, but I think more than likely it's just because of how bonkers the results currently are. Uh, so we're going to hop into a quick video and take a look at where we're standing with that. Uh, for Choose Your Legends Round 4, Fire Emblem Heroes. Um, it's interesting. I haven't looked at all of them, but I've, I've glanced as I've built these uh, scenes. And so because of that, we're going to start with the men's division. Uh, and I've broken it into two so that it's not itty bitty tiny on your screen. Um... Dimitri is in number one, Claude is in number two. No one is surprised about that. What is truly tragic <laughs> is that Marth is again in third, uh, as is Krom. I think Krom was in fourth last year too, or ended in fourth rather. Um, now, for those of you wondering, I always save my first three votes in specific categories. Uh, one is the one who I feel got robbed the most last year, uh, that being Marth. So Marth got a vote from me. Uh, another one that I do is the Fire Emblem Heroes OC, uh, and this time I chose to vote for Plumeria, because uh, honestly there wasn't really anybody else in the game that I cared about that much that wasn't in it, because um, I think he <laughs> I think Hell is the only one from the OC cast that is not in the game yet, <laughs> besides Leaf. Uh, so there's that. And then I also always vote for Levin Sword Anna from Fire Emblem Awakening because I want Levin Sword in the game. It's as simple as that. Uh, and then I try and look at what these results are, are appearing as and then try and throw some weight behind that. Um, coincidentally, Marth here, not that I don't love Claude or Dimitri, I would really like to get Marth. <laughs> I would really like Marth to get his Brave Ball and just be done. Uh, the boy was robbed, like, the first year where votes didn't count, uh, because they weren't tallied together, and then that whole thing, and Marthgate happened, and it's, it's just, it's a lot. It's exhausting, and I'd really like Marth to just be done. <laughs> I'd like his, I'd like his, uh, journey to be over, and he'll be brave, and, you know, we move on. Um... Selif is in fifth, Felix is in sixth. So uh, the top six I feel like has a pretty good shot of just being anywhere within the top two range. Uh, it can extend if there's enough support thrown behind the character. Anybody in the top like eight I would say is pretty safely gonna make it there. Um, or it, they, they could rather, again, depending on how much uh, weight gets thrown behind them. Uh, anybody in 9 through 20, ooh, uh, it's going to take a lot of effort. Um, it's not impossible, but it's, it's going to take some effort. Um, and that's just, you know, general, not really knowing the numbers, just the placement-wise. If everybody bands together, it is possible, technically, for anybody in the top 20 to make it to the top 2. Uh, this year, however, it, it, a lot of people were calling the uh, Dimitri Claude lock, and <laughs> this is this is this is a very good indicator of where we're at right now. Um, it, it we may just get a Brave Houses banner and call it a day. I personally like as much as I love Three Houses, I don't want every Fire Emblem. Three Houses character to be in the top two for each male and female, um, because <laughs> then it would just be a Three Houses banner, um, and that would bum me out a little bit, because, you know, Choose Your Legends is supposed to be this collaborative, weird thing that, you know, is the will of the people. But then again, you know, if Three Houses is the will of the people, then that's fine. I just, I have, I have a, a hunch that people are going to complain if it's just Three Houses characters, um, which would make me sad. And I don't want people to complain. Robin is in seventh. Male Byleth from uh, the well, that's not that's not the Academy arc, I don't think, is it? <laughs> he's got he's got the, uh, the the enlightened green hair. Um, I think that maybe might be a typo. I'm not sure. Unless they don't differentiate him, I never actually looked 
at the three houses yet because I still don't know who to vote for. But either way, uh, Male Byleth is in eighth. Sylvain is in ninth. Ash is in tenth. So a lot more three houses uh, diversity happening. Um, the top three is not all three houses. Um, the top six is evenly split between other characters and three houses. Um, top ten, I mean, top ten is primarily three houses, but not by much. Uh, it's it's still kind of split evenly. Uh, then we have Sigurd at 11, Soren at 12. I feel like that's a reoccurrence as well. So is Reinhardt at 13, Leaf at 14, Alphonse, interesting, at 15. Uh, Black Knight, 16, Ferdinand von Eyre. Can't say his full name without laughing. Uh, 17th, Lenny at number 18. Takumi at uh, 19. And Itsuki and Krom at 20. Uh, so there you go. That's that's the men's side. Again, not likely to be as cutthroat except for maybe that top five, top six area. Um, I would expect Marth and Krom to give a good push. Uh, because the fandoms thrown behind those two in particular uh, run pretty deep. So, I don't think it's over yet necessarily. I'll put it that way. Uh, so let's hop into the women's side of things. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is going to be a bloodbath. Like, I, I guarantee you this is going to be a bloodbath. Uh, Edelgard and Lysithia are in the top two. Genuinely not surprised about Aelgard. I don't see the appeal of Lysithia, but that's just me. I'm not here to shame anybody's votes, you know? Bernie! Bernadetta is at number three. Uh, female Violet, without the green hair, also from the Academy Arc, <laughs> hmm. uh, is at number four. We've got Erica from fifth and Dorothea from number six, uh, and I believe that would be the four arc. Although, with how this is working, I don't know if it matters at this point. Uh, the, the the winning arc, the arc with the most votes, will get the uh, the specific alt. But the, the characters are tallied together. Um, so there you go. That's the top six. That is... Whew, that is tough. And I actually tweeted out last night. I was like, eh, I don't know who I'm going to vote for next. But it's probably going to be Dorothea. I think I'm going to throw my weight behind Dorothea. I genuinely do. Uh, but beyond all of that, we've got Marianne at seven. Plumeria at number eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. I remember all of you who shamed my, my vote. I remember you trying to roast me. I remember. I'm in the majority. What's up? Uh, Anna from Awakening at number nine. Thank you. Uh, the thing I want to note about this, and the votes are not tallied together. I'm sure we all knew that. Um, but last year... Awakening Anna was more popular than Fate's Anna, but they were both in the top, like, 20-ish, I want to say. Um, and so, ultimately, that's kind of what screwed Anna's chances. <laughs> like, the the fandom split, and they're like, well, we don't know. Um, I, made a, I made a call out in last year's end of Choose Your Legends and be like, hey, listen, Anna, Anna Squad, uh, we need to band together and vote for Awakening Anna so that we can get Love and Sword in the game. And also, so we don't split Anna's votes and give her a chance to, like, get up there. Um, the only thing that's kind of probably weighing Anna down at this particular point is a version of her got an alt. I'll put it that way. Uh, for New Year's. So even though it's not the same Anna, there's technically another Anna in the game. Uh, which, I'll be honest, Anna Awakening, or Anna from Awakening is my Anna. Like, that's just how it is. Nothing against FaZe Anna, but I am an Awakening Anna uh, fanboy all the way. And I really want Love the Sword in the game, so I'm hoping that Anna can, like, bump up there. But honestly, like, this this one seems more locked. I would say anybody in the top six has a shot. <laughs> but anybody beyond that, maybe not so much. Uh, Hilda is at number ten, by the way. All you Hilda stands out there, I see you. Uh, Corrin from Fate's female version, obviously, is at number 11. Uh, female Robin is at number 12. So we have both uh, male and female Robin in, uh, what was, what was male Robin? Seventh, I think? I could just look it up, but I'm lazy. Uh, you know what? We will. What are you, seventh? You're seventh. Hell yeah. Okay. 
Uh, so both of them in the, the top 15, top 12. That's kind of nice. Uh, so this is at number 13. Tharja is at 14. Azura is at 15. Nino. People keep trying with Nino. Ain't gonna happen. Uh, Nino's at number 16. Lelina is at 17. Lady Rhea is at 18. Jill is at 19. And Mia is at 20. Uh, both of those were pretty high last year too um, but I feel like the three houses vibe is just way too strong here like the top six all but one is is uh, <laughs> is three houses the top ten all but three so seven of the top ten are three houses units which you know is a little less diversified than the men's division uh, but not 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 by that much which is Yikes. Uh, we're probably going to have a three house. <laughs> we're probably going to have a three houses choose your legends, and I feel like people are going to lose their minds over that. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But, uh, again, anybody can kind of break in. The males, I think, have a better chance of getting a non three houses character into the top two. Um, I, ooh, Eric is going to have to do some climbing. Man, <laughs> Eric is going to have to climb to get past Bernie and Violet. Uh, Dorothea I would like to see, honestly, but I just want Dorothea in the game. Which brings me to my last point. Uh, I made a tweet a couple days ago about how um, going through the 2019 banner stats, 43% uh, of all units from all banners and free to play rewards were actually Choose Your Legends 3 top 100 placements. Um, so... That said, half of the units we get in a given year are likely going to be from that year's Choose Your Legends results. So even though the top two are likely to be very locked, very popular, very tough to break into, um, the important thing is if there is a character that is not in the game, a la Marianne or Dorothea, if you want to vote for them and you want to keep them within, you know, that top 50 range would be ideal, most likely. Uh, what you'll be able to do is tell IS that, hey, I really want this character in the game. More than likely it's going to happen. Um, last year, maybe we had such a high percentage of, of input because they introduced Beast Units. And a lot of Choose Your Legends 3 Top 100 were Beast Units. And they were just like, well, we're putting all the Beast units in the game, so, I mean, that might skew things a little bit. But ultimately, like, IS does listen to these results. So, if your favorite character is not necessarily doing super hot, uh, and again, we only have the top 20 here. If you want to keep them in the top 100 overall, that is going to drastically increase their chances of getting into the game at some point. Maybe even as a free-to-play reward. Which is the best thing ever. <laughs> like, anytime there's a character that I really, really want and they're free, I'm like, great. I have to do minimal effort. I can't get, like, a super Bane that's terrible. Uh, everything is good. So, there you go. Just keep voting for who you want in the game. Um, that's that's kind of the main thing. And for those people, I say, uh, Rhea gang, Marianne gang, Plumeria gang, rise up. Dorothea gang, especially you. I see you. Uh, also, Bernie. I freaking love Bernie. Bernie deserves more love, man. Come on. Come on! Uh, but there you go. That's what we're looking at for uh, the top 20 for male and female so far. Again, uh, we don't know where these numbers skew. Uh, last year, I want to say a good like 70% of the top 100 were all female. <laughs> like, there were a lot. Uh, so keep in mind that even though there's 20 and 20 here, uh, that's that's maybe not the top 40 overall. Does that make sense? Uh, there may be female contenders 21 through, I don't know, 30 may have more votes than, like, the males number 15, if you know what I mean. So we don't know what the top 50, top 100 looks like, but this is broken into uh, the male and female division. Overall, we don't know, but we will soon obviously because we'll have numbers released and we will do a follow-up video on that and i will give you my input as to who i think we're going to be seeing in banners coming up this year uh so if you don't want to miss that be sure to subscribe this has been a much longer video than i thought but i love statistics i'm a huge loser when it comes to that so 
Um, yeah, feel free to subscribe if you want to uh, catch some more info on that, as well as some stuff coming up. Just put out a Mythic Hero Prediction banner thing yesterday, so that should be live on the channel. Um, and we should have a reaction coming up soon as well. So there you go, friends. Happy voting. Uh, I hope uh, everybody does well. Um, I will be throwing some weight behind Dorothea and probably Marth moving forward because nobody else I care about that much is in the top 20. <laughs> nobody else has a shot. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.